Good evening, you're watching Central News. Hundreds of people took to the streets this morning to protest about a proposed school closure in Stoke-on-Trent. A final decision is expected later this week, as Steve Keeling reports. The streets of Hanford in Stoke-on-Trent will never have seen anything like it before. Hundreds of parents, children and residents combined to voice their anger at the proposed closure of the local high school. Our children are important to us, they're not numbers. And we want to give the best for our children and the best education they will have and which they will have at Trentham High. Save our school! Saying they've listened to the parents, they haven't listened to the parents and actually taken on board what they've said. What they're doing is they're going ahead and railroading this idea anyway. The community don't want it. I want Trentham to stay open because I want a good education and, to, and I want to be a teacher when I'm older. Today they march the four miles from Hanford to the site of a new replacement school. A walk they say is unnecessary and dangerous. The council are expected to ratify their decision on Tuesday, but the argument won't stop there. These people are already preparing a legal challenge. There are several different types of legal challenges we understand from our solicitors. There's a straightforward legal challenge and there's a judicial review. So there are a few different options. We can't do anything until Tuesday. You're not going to go away, are you? We're absolutely not going anywhere. Further protests are also planned. The proposal to close a community school has united it in its defence. Steve Keeling for Central News. A